Hey all, Hiba here and uh, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sea of Conquest. Uh, today we're looking at the best artillery damage build you can possibly do, so don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. So uh, this build here kind of uh, requires you to have Ophelia. So uh, what you got to do is look in your calendar for your heroes to figure out when she's available. And of course uh, Sharky as well and uh, we'll get into the details later on. Now the best ship for an artillery build is actually a season 3 ship. So I'm kind of imagining not many of you have reached season 3. But if you do then the Sajid is the best option. But uh, you know back in the real world most people are probably in season 2. And uh, then you can use the uh, Fearless Princess. Failing that you can use the Black Raven. You can also choose to put an artillery build on your flagship. Of course it's completely up to you. So uh, the items you will need for this build here is the Queen of Revenge uh, item set. So uh, that gives you uh, additional artillery damage, of course that's what you want. And as usual the more uh, of the same you have on your ship, so the more Queen of Revenge uh, you know, items you have on your ship, uh, the more they synergize and the more damage you do. So uh, 2 is good, 4 is even better. And of course uh, legendary versions and uh, the highest level you can possibly uh, get them to. So uh, an artillery build is a really popular build and uh, it damages multiple targets at the same time. Uh, so that's why people like it. It's, uh, it's really good if you're up against uh, you know numerous targets. So uh, anyway how do we actually get this build here and uh, how do we actually make it, you know, the best we possibly can? Well, next step is then heroes because we already looked at the ship and uh, we already looked at the items. So uh, let's have a look at the heroes here. So for the captain spot, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, Ophelia is the, uh, well, the natural pick really. And she's a season one exclusive legendary uh, hero. And as you can tell, she has artillery damage. And uh, all her skills are excellent, and like I said, she's an excellent captain, uh, especially when uh, you you know pair her up with other very good artillery uh, heroes. So uh, of course, uh, you need a good first mate, and you need a good gunner as well. So uh, I'll show you that as well. So uh, I just want to make sure again that you realize that you can look in the calendar to make sure that you understand when the different heroes are available to pull using the conch system. There are of course other ways of getting heroes, uh, for example in the rogues rumble and stuff like that, but uh, that takes a while and uh, at least uh, during the, like the pulling using conchs, you're pretty much certain to get the commander you want, provided you have enough conchs, right? And you know, uh, unless I can outright buy the heroes in the shop, then I find this is uh, the best way to approach it. So of course, what you gotta do is save up uh, the golden conks so you have enough uh, to grab, uh, if you want, to grab both the uh, hero and also the uh, trinket that uh, you know usually goes along with that hero. So for example, the withered heart here, that's what you want with Ophelia. And of course you can use this on Sharky as well or pretty much any other, uh, you know, artillery. A hero but of course uh, it has to be a captain to uh, activate the extra bonus so uh, Ophelia is uh, is the one you should use this on if you have uh, the withered heart all right so uh, that's the captain down now uh, of course we need a first mate as well and uh, for our first mate we're gonna pick one of the most recognizable heroes in the game and uh, it's of course Sharky now <laughs> a lot of lots of people try to pull this guy and uh, you know he's good but he's really only good if you have Ophelia as well. Uh, because these two guys here, they synergize really well. And, uh, you know, if you have a suitable gunner as well, uh, like I'll show you in a minute, then uh, these two here can just really go to town. But they do work best together. Like, uh, if you just have one of them, like I unfortunately do here, uh, I don't think that they really, uh, you know, max out their potential. Unfortunately, but uh, of course you just gotta work with what you have. It's rare for someone to have all legendary heroes in the game. That's uh, unusual unless you are a gigantic whale. So uh, in the gunner spot, it's actually quite a good idea to pop in Oscar here. Uh, despite him being, uh, you know, in quotes, just an epic hero. Um, he actually, uh, you know, uh, allows Sharky and uh, uh, Ophelia to uh, to really scale their damage uh, dealing potential into uh, 
pretty much absurd numbers. But uh, if you want a legendary hero in the slot, and that's what I actually think is better, uh, you can go with Kilan Ting here. And uh, she also does artillery damage, and she is a legendary hero. Now, if you end up running key here, you are, uh, you know, handicapping your build a little bit when it comes to hitting multiple targets, but you will do more damage to single targets. So uh, it's a little bit of a, you know, a, a, a toss up if you want uh, one thing or the other. But if you don't have key, then obviously you go with the uh, epic hero I showed you before. Now, uh, when it comes to season two trinkets, and I'm just focusing on season two trinkets in this video here. Uh, this only Withered Heart really that has specific artillery damage uh, among the uh, legendary trinkets that you have available. Now many of them have blazing and drowning damage bonuses, but uh, other than the Spyglass uh, and uh, the Withered Rose, that's about it in the legendary section. You can use Tyrant's Hand, of course, uh, if you want to, and you can also use the uh, Cannonball, uh, you know, if you lack the other options. But uh, Withered Heart definitely is the one to go for. And uh, if you can put that in Ophelia's hand, uh, you are doing really, really well. All right, so I uh, will just recap quickly here. So uh, if you're not in season three, and like I said, I don't think many people are in season three yet. Uh, Black Raven is probably the ship most people have access to. So uh, that's the easiest one to use for this build. And then you can always move the build to a better ship once you enter season three. So uh, Ophelia should be your captain. She is extremely strong and, uh, you know, she does a lot of damage. And uh, especially if you pair her with uh, Sharky, which obviously we're going to do. These two together are actually uh, almost bullying uh, in their approach. And uh, they really synergize well. And uh, if you have them both at a high level and uh, also with nice trinkets, for example, uh, they are really, really strong. And uh, a good thing about an artillery build is that uh, you don't actually need three legendary commanders at the moment. You can get away with using Oscar if you want to. Um, that will increase the damage you do to multiple targets if you use this guy here, because uh, he will keep buffing the other two. Um, but if you want to, you know, use a another legendary commander if you have her, uh, you can opt to put uh, Ki Lan Ting in uh, the uh, gunner spot instead of Oscar. Now, uh, what you choose is up to you, and they both work really well. So, in the end, it doesn't really matter that much. It's just really what have you access to, and uh, you know which trinket would work better with uh, one of those uh, heroes. So, uh, speaking of trinkets, the best one to grab is a uh, withered heart, and uh, if you get it, you should give it to Ophelia. And if you don't have Ophelia, uh, you give it to Sharky, of course. So, uh, the other two, uh, like the first mate and the gunner uh, you can put any trinket really that does uh, attack like improves attack um, and that's about it for now until you enter season three so uh, i hope this made uh, sense and if not just ask questions in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you out there